anyways. Say that the Ravis fight was probably like the best boss so far. Please stand clear. You better think fast. I don't envy you your decision. Um, it's just a shame that I wasn't afraid of the fight the whole time because I had Phoenix Downs. Betraying your friends for the greater good, the mark of a monarch. Step forth, your majesty. Is one fried? Why can't I use items? Why can't I use items? Why can't I use items? You're not allowed to use items at this part? Gate closing. Please stand clear. Hello? <laughs> okay, you just can't use items here. I... For reasons. I don't know what reason. How's it going, Joe? They must have heard me. Like, oh, you think the game's too easy with items, eh? We're just gonna randomly make items not available for this one little moment. But we're gonna put a checkpoint right before it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Alright, hardest part of the game right here, because you can't use items. This is the final boss. You better think fast. I don't envy you your decision. defeated do you think moving forwards the game should retire the crystal narrative don't die on me do you think they will I mean the whole story like no spoilers was 16 but the whole story behind 16 is like the, the era of the crystals is ending. They made that really apparent with like the the marketing and stuff. So like there is a chance that that was their way of saying like 17 is going to have no crystals. But I don't know. I don't I don't see any reason to get rid of the crystals. 
Do that's you like suppose your dear friends are still alive. It's like Mario getting Those rid of Mario or something. Do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Hold on, let's pay attention to this. Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. How far does this go? The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Ooh. I like the little... Your journey is over, Noct. Prelude. Right when we saw the crystal. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not one given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name is in here once. Killing is not a degree of satisfaction. We had a bit of an answer there. attack him or anything. Okay, now we're attacking him. Was that scene in the original? Had to have been, right? It'd be kind of crazy if it wasn't. Gather strength, O Chosen. That would be insane if that wasn't in the original. The fate of this world falls to the King of Kings. His providence consecrated in the divine light of the crystal. So it is ordained the revelation of Bahamut. Soul of the star, and in 
is in this place that the king will gain the power to fulfill his calling. It's kind of a goofy smile. They stand against the darkness and abide in hope. Sustained by faith unfaltering that their king shall arise and bring deliverance. By the covenants awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. with life eternal, whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of providence shine within. This game really likes flashbacks. <laughs> Everything's a flashback. The light waxes full. Go forth to the kingdom where the usurper awaits. Reclaim the throne and fulfill the calling of the true king. Still dirty. So like, 
I really like that scene, by the way. I liked how um, it's kind of a silly detail, but I like how uh, the our three party members ran up at the end there, because it gives this cool like feeling of Noctis thought that he would have to go back and save them, but they were able to like kill all those demons on their own like it makes me feel like my defenders aren't like fully dependent on me you know like they are actually who they say they are they are the defenders of the king they are able to hold their own you know it's so, like that was kind of a cool moment with like and and they actually backed it up with noctis's uh dialogue he you know he said like i'll be back for you guys i'll save you guys and then like turns out they didn't need saving you know um, so like that was cool like that was a cool moment um, and we got a little bit of an answer with Arden he did say and I don't know if this is in the original but I would hope it is because that's like the most important thing he said all game he said that he wants him to become king before he kills him for revenge so that actually explains a lot of the things that we've seen up to this point not fully, but it at least gives us some context of like, oh, okay, that now some of that stuff makes sense, right? Um, you know, he wanted to, he wanted us, he wanted to pit us alone so that we'd finally accept the ring. He wanted to screw with us because he wants revenge. Uh, he didn't kill us on the train because he wanted us to become king. Like a lot of those scenes make more sense now. Yeah, unfortunately, we still don't have the whole story, but at least we have a little bit of context now. In Hammerhead. Yeah, just just a few minutes. Everybody go. Demons everywhere. Oh god, what happened to the camera there? Oh no, not level seven goblins. Not them. And you know, perhaps it's a bit perhaps it's a bit too late. I know for me, when I played this game the first time, all of this felt like it was too late. But we do have to give it credit. This is actually something. Something actually happened. We, we really got a change in the status quo now. We don't know how long it's been. The world is in ruin. We don't know where our friends are. We don't know what's going on. Like, this feels like a true shakeup of the status quo. We're not just going to the next town, you know? Last man standing. So credit where credit is due. I know when I played this for the first time, I was like totally just out of it at this point. It's like I just was like totally, the game has lost me, but it does really feel like we finally changed some things. Events are actually happening now. Also, I'm just popping tonberries like they're freaking zits. Good Lord. So, I think the ring is still strong, guys. Hope everyone's okay. 
Am I like just really strong or is the ring strong? No, it's it's definitely the ring. I mean, I'm I'm pretty strong, but it's it's definitely the ring. <gasps> Bro, what did they do to the ring? Good lord. I equipped the ring. I didn't even attack. I just equipped it and dodged and everything died. I'm popping iron giants now. How's it going, Marsh? Yeah, I mean, at least story-wise, it makes sense as to why the, the ring would be stronger. Does it actually say it's stronger now? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Maybe not. But yeah, like, story-wise, the ring should be stronger than it was. Because it's got the, the power. That's terrifying. level 84. Can I kill it with the ring? I don't know if I can kill it with the ring. We run. Let's go, Callus. these either. The ring is showing its weakness. I like how much Noctis looks like his dad. I also like that he was stuck in Bahamut's realm for like a million years, but he's like still clean shaven. <laughs> I guess they gave him some like shaving cream in there. And a razor. Yeet. There's one down. Two down. Wait, did they actually update his facial hair? <laughs> That's what they chose to update in one of the updates. Gotta give him some better facial hair. Could have possibly led them to to the decision of doing that. Like they were looking online and they're like, what is everyone complaining about that we can fix in the updates? They're like, everyone's complaining about Nox beard. <laughs> we gotta fix the beard. 
What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Better stop. Don't try to drive around me. Uh... Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. That's an incredibly strange reaction to have. Yes, sir. That's that's right. Huh? Oh, uh, just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay, uh, we should be there shortly, sir. What? This is not how humans react. Um, this is so weird. <laughs> wow, I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different, though. You think so? Look at the dog. <laughs> Guess I've grown some these ten years. Ten years. <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they anyway? Lestalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, nice the guys are collection. in Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So, uh, Sid. He's still alive and kicking. <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big fat chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. That sounds like Sid all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way. So the garage will probably stay put for a while, and without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead, he tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts, too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. And never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while. But each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I mean... I, I appreciate what they were trying to do here, but like, this feels so forced. Like the... We talked to Bahamut for like two seconds, and then it just time skipped to here. And then... We walked for like a minute. And then... Talkit of all people finds us immediately and picks us up and is like I mean I know he kind of said he was surprised but he didn't feel very surprised that we were there 
This is 10 years. 10 years went by. And he's like, oh, wow, your majesty. That's cool. Like, <laughs> And then... On our way here, he's like, yeah, everyone lives in Hammerhead now because the rest of the world is just completely and utterly abandoned. Just you can't walk two feet away from Hammerhead without being ambushed by a monster. But he's just driving out in the wild, like totally fine. Just him. No weapons. No nothing. As we're driving, there's monsters just popping up. Any one of them could have popped up in the road. They just happen to all pop up next to the road. And he's just like, yeah, so, you know, monsters are pretty crazy. Uh, Cindy's still hot. Like, it's just so weird. Like, I don't, the tone is just so off. I don't understand. I like what they're trying to do here, but it's like, I don't think they had the resources to really pull this off the way they wanted to. <laughs> like I said, I love the the change of scenery that like that's what we needed. We needed something big to happen, but this is just like really Hey. Hey. That's all you have to say for yourself after all this time. <laughs> Knocked. It's you. It's really is you. It? Hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. And the pacing is just like after ten years, and we're just like right here again with them. Final battle will commence once you leave Hammerhead. Wait, really? That seems different. Wasn't it? Wasn't it originally like? I feel like I remember we were out. Wait, was this whole thing added? Like, this whole thing with Hammerhead, was this added later? Because I remember being out in the open, and then we just, like, ran to... That's so weird. Am I am I having, like, a... A... Berenstein Bears moment or something? Because I swear I remember... You, like, run to... The... Maybe that's after this, even though it said, even though it said once you leave the final battle starts, I think you can like still leave after this. Because I remember going into the city, but then the doggo's there and you can travel back in time with the doggo, like right before you walk into the city. I do not remember Hammerhead being the final place you chill before the final boss. I think this playthrough is being spoiled by your previous playthrough. What do you mean? I'm just saying I remember the final spot you're standing to be a bit different. I don't remember Hammerhead being the last save point. Maybe that, maybe that pop-up is just odd. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's just the pop-up. Like, it says it's the final battle, but it's not really. Like, it is, but you have more time to retreat before you go. Hey. 
before like the point of no return. Look at this guy's new weapons, but we haven't had a we haven't had the chance to actually like go do anything and make money <laughs> since the last shop. I want that Durin doll. Yeah, that stuff is worth some money. Holy cow. I need 10,000 though. As Hyperion. Trev. I'll see you later. So, is the doggo here somewhere? There he is. But I can't talk to him yet. So, I don't think I can. I don't know if I can. Can I time travel from here? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing I gotta go a little further before I can time travel. time travel as long as you want to travel forward at normal pace. I don't think there is a sleep area here. No, we can't sleep. Seraphic, they really give this up to Chryso. Alright, I'm just gonna, well I'll save just in case, but I'm pretty sure we go forward a little bit. And then we can time travel. Oh, I... One really minor nitpick, but another thing that I totally would have brought up in QA. If you run, you can't stop running by clicking run again. You have to let go of the analog stick to stop running, which means you have to stop in place for a second. So like you can't optimize your stamina by like running and then stop running to let your stamina come back. You gotta completely stop and then start walking. Just don't. It is very odd that Hammerhead's the only place well, that survived. Fellas, we're homeward bound at last. Time to suit up. Finally get to rock these threads. Wear them with pride. Yeah. Just hope they still fit. Gotta look good to kill demons. Hey, we actually get the cook. A final dish and chips for the end of the world. Put 
Please tell me Prompto took like one picture. Well, they said, like, most people live there now, though. Like, that's one of the only places left. It's not literally the only place, but... Okay, this is what I remember, yeah. Home sweet so that, that's home. weird that yeah. they even have that pop-up. The pop-up should be call? here. Sure is. Next stop, the Citadel. Yeah. Give it your all, guys. Yeah. You got it. With pleasure. Never mind. Turn that music off. All right. So where's? I'm guessing Doggo's up here, actually. I sense trouble. You sense right. Nice, Iggy. No time for confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I got work to do. Yeah. You don't seem as jumpy as before. Maybe I'm just bad. Pop. Pop. Ignis, can you sense light? To a degree, yes. So when dawn breaks, you'll know it. I should. Good to know. Why does it say there's a sleep here? I don't see a bed. Some Z's here. Certainly. And some it's a magic spot worth taking note of. Hold it up. Doggo's not in here, though. I feel like this song is a bit out of place, but it's really good. But you have to sleep. Oh, uh, I see. It's gonna like man, I my I completely remember. It, this has got to be like a Berenstein Bears moment. Yeah, there it is. This has got to be like a Berenstein Bears moment. I swear, I remember the dog sitting like next to the a sub like next to like a bench. It was like a bench, and then it was like the doggo sitting there. And you like talk to the doggo. Maybe it's just this I remember. Give me some paw. <laughs> that's it. Just want. Uh, that's it. That's all I wanted. You and I need to come up with a plan. I, I, I did not. If it please, your highness. I only pressed X once. Alright, what's the plan? <laughs> Go in and kill him. Alright, good plan. Glad we took the time to come up with that plan. Alright, so should we talk about should we talk about the elephant in the room? I think most of the people I talk to, including like 
What? What? Howdy, Prince. Do you mind swinging by the garage for a hot minute? We've been experiencing some awful strange shakes back here in Lead. The hunters are already looking into it, but I reckon they could use a couple more hands. Got it. On our way. Uh... <laughs> Most people I talk to, even like the biggest Final Fantasy XV fans, um, agreed that that ending just absolutely comes out of nowhere. Like, just an absolute semi-truck hitting you. Something about that, like, so that dungeon we just did, the stealth dungeon, feels like the middle of the game so like we, we're 20 hours in we finally put on the ring and Arden is now finally beginning to reveal himself as the main villain so it feels like the climax like the middle the middle of the of the game where now all the strands are going to start coming together and we're going to start realizing like where everything goes. And then we're going to have 20 more hours of now we finally know the objective. Let's do the objective. Pretty much like every other Final Fantasy, you could pick out a moment like this where it's like this is the the halfway point. And it it really, truly feels like that is the halfway point. Uh, in every sense of the you know, it, it, it truly does feel like that. And then you find the crystal, it time skips, and it's like, okay, now we're in this new world, and we're going to have to save people in this new world, or like figure out where Arden is. Like, there's going to be this quest to like big, like go across the, the barren world and find Arden, like, basically the halfway point of 6, you know? Like, very similar to, to Final Fantasy VI. Uh, but then it's just, like, final boss. Not even, like, final dungeon. Because from what I remember, it's not really a final dungeon. You legit fight, like, two bosses and the game's over. So, like, not even final dungeon, not even final mission, not even final chapter, just, like, Final boss. <laughs> so, like... That's good to hear. That's good to hear that the last zone is actually bigger now. But especially when the game came out. I mean, it was literally two bosses, from what I remember. Um, But yeah, like, it. wow. I mean... If you didn't feel the development hell before this, you definitely felt it now. You know? It definitely feels like they had to pull the trigger on just ending the game here for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think everyone can agree that's that's really bad. Um... It's really a shame. It's obviously not what they wanted to do. I don't think this is a writing problem. I, I don't think this is what they wanted to do. I think they were forced to cut it off here. Um, there's also, of course, a discussion to be had about the shortness of the game. I definitely took my time. I did not do... A ton of stuff on the open world but then again there wasn't really a ton to do uh i didn't really do too many side quests but i did some hunts i could have done a few more side quests maybe um but those are mostly just very short things for experience they're not like it's not like uh I guess, like, remake side quests where it's, like, telling part of the story, but they're optional kind of thing. Um, this was very much, like, just open world side quests where it's, like, totally optional, just a, 
do this to get some money if you need money or do this to get experience if you need experience kind of thing right um so i mean i feel like i spent a good amount of time in the open world i think if you're someone that really likes the open world and really takes your time you might spend another four or five hours before getting to this point but i think that's say i think it's safe to say the main story of this game is about 20 hours if you just do the main story of the game with some open world exploration, this is a 20 hour game. It's a 20 hour game that they sold for $60. They sold multiple special editions that were more expensive. They sold it as this universe of being a movie, being mobile games, being books, being all this that they, they sold it as this huge thing that everyone should get really invested in. And it's a 20 hour game. So that was one of the many sources of frustration for me when I first played and finished this game. And I think that's a pretty fair thing to get frustrated about. Um, I think a lot of people were frustrated with that. I think that most of the reviews I read, definitely, even the good reviews, definitely mentioned that the game was short. And that was one of its biggest problems, was that it's short. Um, yeah, not to mention there's extra scenes in this, you know, when I played it originally, it would have been even shorter. Um, so yeah. I mean, that's, it, it, it especially feels, it feels really bad when this game is the finale of Phantathon. Because we've played every single Final Fantasy over the course of the last three and a half years. And I can safely say this is like the third shortest game. <laughs> Final Fantasy 1 I think I spent more time to get to the end, but it's definitely a shorter game. Two, I think, was potentially shorter as well. But, uh... I think every single other game was longer. So... Yeah, that's a problem. I think it's, I think it's fair to say that's a problem. And it definitely, you know, like I said, the development hell really hit me here. I really felt like this was just not the game they wanted to give us. They did their best, you know. There's no need to throw shade on any part of the team in particular, but it does really feel like a wasted potential. And they sunk so much money and so much time and so much effort into this game that it's just, it sucks to know that they missed so much, you know? Like, I feel bad for the developers that put so much time and effort into the game and it was, it was shrunken down to this, you know? It sucks. And it makes me wonder why this game had such an insane amount of money thrown into the marketing. Could we not have put a little more of that money into the game? And maybe it wasn't a money problem. Maybe it was a organization problem. Maybe it was a dev problem. Maybe it was a time problem. But yeah, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right. It doesn't feel good. You know, I think even if you're a big fan of 15, you get to this point and you feel like, man, what if, what if we had a little more, you know? Um, and the DLC definitely helps with that. Doesn't help that it's paid DLC, but the DLC helps with that. The updates help with that. They didn't drop this game and then just say like, haha, jokes on you. You spent 60 bucks for a $20 for a 20 hour game. They did continue to update it for free. They continued to add stuff. They made the DLC. 
you know, they did try to make it more of a full experience. But yeah, no, it definitely feels bad, man. It, it does. It, it doesn't feel good. The game had so much more potential than being a 20 hour game. You know, it's a shame. So. Yeah. All right. So now, now that we have that behind us, we have a decision to make, ladies and gentlemen. A very important decision to make. Is next week the finale of Phantathon? Is next week the finale? Are we willing to say that next week is going to be the end of this four year journey? My thought process was I wanted to do the hunts um, before finishing the game. I wanted to at least do the turtle. So, like, I don't know what we need to do to unlock the turtle. Uh, so we might need to look into what that is and just see how long it's going to take. Oh, that was the call. So it is unlocked. You don't even have to do the other hunts for it. Where is she at? Hammerhead, obviously. Yeah, I remember some of the hunts being really difficult. I'm just not like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not that invested in doing everything or like really, because it's all going to be the same stuff. It's an open world game. It's not like the other games where it felt like we wanted to do a lot of the, the content because it all pertained to the game. Like it's just going to be open world stuff. I want to do the turtle because we did all the other super bosses and all the other games. So I feel like it's makes sense to do the turtle um but uh other than that i'm kind of ready to i'm ready to see this thing through man but we have we have four hours next week we could even do longer than that if we wanted we could do five or six hours or even we, we could do we could do nine hours if we wanted to like I, i'm willing to dedicate next week like the whole day to the finale it's just whether or not we can do everything we want to do within that time period so if the turtle's already unlocked which i'm guessing we have to go to the diner Why are you asking us? Well, Sid. Yep. I don't Dice care about there. your so got, food. If y'all can't find the stuff I need, it ain't no big deal. But it surely help me out if you could. I see. I'm curious if the turtle's killable with the ring still. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Sid's friends, was it? Take your pick. Okay, it's not here. I think you have to talk to... I have to talk to Cindy. Boys are a brave bunch. Appreciate it. I mean, I don't think it'll take that long. You boys are a brave bunch. Stay 
Stay alert. Amethyst is saying you gotta be ranked 10 for it. Wanna go check it out? What is it? Another test from the old man. <sighs> he sure is hard on us. I think he's worried about us. He wants us to prove that we can make it out here. Some sizable seismic activity down south near Longwithe. Dave and his boys are on the beat as we speak. It's the darndest thing. Ain't never felt so much. Got me worried too. Ain't easy. Speak to Dave. See what Dave says. So is Cindy like 33? You don't have a chance, man. I'm sorry. Hey, want to hit up the crow's nest? If you wish to put on weight, certainly. Yeah, I know. I see your hunter's instincts, bright y'all. Got all my hunters for us in their feet. Name's Dino. Real upright fella. Dino. Found a suspect spot. Y'all mind going to check it out for me? Are we sure this is the turtle? Why are we loading? Why did we go there to go here to go back here? Wait, wait, wait. These recent quakes are can't even boil, only got a sp You know, this is definitely the the turtle, because I remember this. Well, I guess my cover's blown. I didn't come here to cook. I came here as an informant. Thought about picking up some ingredients while I was in the area, but now's not really the time for grocery shopping. If the quakes shake the key, her name is Cocktora. Restaurant sunk. We need to solve That's the worst now. name I've ever heard in my life. That's awful. Well, if it is an inch prey octhisne. Since we're on good terms, let me share a little that uh crown that, city uh, chick, Monica. How many people do I have to talk to? Just show me the turtle. What? I can't Yes, I can't talk to her from in here. What is going on with this mission? I, what? Why did everyone group up there for me to talk to him and then they left? What? What is happening? <laughs> I'm so lost. Well, that's not where I'm supposed to go. We're not letting you into our turtle club. We need to replenish our supply of curators. No, we don't. Gotcha. We have plenty. Shut up. Don't just say crap for no reason. I was going Marky Mark. Thank you for the resub. So what? She's out there. So, can we fight the turtle or not? Oh yeah, I forgot. The, uh... Teleporting is so much better with the ring. Time to book. Right. Oh, well. 
Yeah, but the people left. Like, they came, they went there. Even if I had talked to everyone. And then we left, and they left. So, like, what was the point of everyone? I thought they were there for safety. But then they just left. Looking spooky. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I was confused about. It's probably because they didn't want to actually, like, program everyone being there, but the open world still being normal. So instead, that's like a separate scene where they're all there, and they had to load that scene and then unload that scene. That'd be my guess. By the way, where are these quakes? I haven't felt no quakes. Bro, they literally always pick the absolute worst time to attack. <laughs> it's like it's programmed into the game for them to specifically attack at the worst times. It's actually crazy. The hunt is on. All right, nice fight. That was neat. Hello, gentlemen. Please die. Apparently I was grabbed that entire time. Alright, good fight. We all good. Better than good. Good to go. No room for error. What? I don't know about you guys, but I think they nerfed the ring. I don't think it's strong enough. Good to see you, Prince. I believe we've discovered the source of... The beast is far too dangerous for us to approach. If you decide to venture closer, do exercise caution. I mean, you're pretty close. Not gonna lie. Yo, subs, thank you for the raid, my man. Hope you had a good stream. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. Wow, I thought oh, no. it was gonna give us a second no to... Way, dude. Okay. That's a turtle! That's a turtle! All right, so here's the thing with the turtle. Uh, it says flee from it. Oh, it only gives me three minutes. I think it's because I'm not actually doing the fight yet, I don't think. Yeah, the turtle is like a really cool. I don't know how he like suddenly appeared, by the way. It didn't even like show him coming out of the ground or anything. It was just suddenly here. Hey, I can summon. Um, the turtle's a really cool concept. It's just not done well at all. It's so bad. Dude doesn't even attack. He just sits there like, at least when I played it, you legit just sat by the foot and attacked. And every once in a while, the foot went in. Eh. And that was the whole fight. 
And on top of that, I didn't even fight it. I just held down circle with the ring until it died. So... Yeah. Cool in concept, terrible in execution. Kind of like this entire game, to be honest. I've, I've already retreated. Why is the timer still going? Okay, so now we can apparently go back again. <laughs> what? This is so convoluted. Like, just, just, just fight the turtle. Did we need all this? I mean, I kind of like the idea of, like, going up and seeing how crazy it is and then, like, retreating and then actually fighting it for real. But Great this is, like, so convoluted. Paradise for a technophile like you. All right, so now I think oh, just y'all. I can tell you all about it's either a hunt or yeah. So now we can accept the hunt, and I believe when you accept the hunt, it like goes. If y'all liked it, come on back. But let's double check because. I want to be sure that we can finish next week. I mean, I I don't even know if I can beat the turtle, though, is the thing. I might have the power level. So who knows how long that'll take. You boys eating your fill? What can I do you for? Want to help out with some varmints? Especially if it was changed. Much obliged. I don't know if the ring still works. Take care. Yeah, so this, this like, does a whole thing where, like, now we're in the turtle hunt. Can't just run up and fight it. So, like, this was another thing that I did not like about this hunt. I think the, the cool thing about this turtle is that it's just on the map. But you have to accept the hunt for it to, like actually appear on the map like you can't just drive by it and be like oh my god there's the turtle when am i ever gonna fight that thing like it's more of an event where it like happens you know so that's kind of a shame because the the magic of having an open world is that you can like see something like this on the world i mean think about something like even emerald weapon in final fantasy 7 not necessarily an open world game but the fact that you can see emerald moving around and eventually you decide to fight it like that's kind of where the magic is so, some of the magic is a bit lost there. But other than that, this is still a really cool idea for a hunt. I just wish it was done better. So, um, okay. This is kind of a hard decision to make because I don't know for sure if we can defeat the turtle. And what if we can't defeat the turtle and then we have the power level and then the power leveling takes too long? But, I mean, there's no way it takes nine hours, right? No. We can definitely... Hmm. Well, it's just... It, it's just a matter of can we... Can we officially say next week is the finale? Because I want to be able to tell everyone it's the finale and have everyone here and be a part of it and I want to you know, tell the YouTube crew that it's going to be the finale. And so I just want to make sure that we have enough time to do everything we want to do next week. I think we will. I don't think the turtle will take nine hours to kill. And if it does, then heck, we take the whole nine hours and kill it. <laughs> um, so... Well, you, that's the problem, is you can't really tell if the ring's working until it kills it. From what I remember. Like, you have to sit there for several minutes with the ring before you can start seeing him, like, fade. And then, like, you kind of know, kind of know it's working. But yeah, I say, I say, like, whatever. Whatever happens, let's just say next week is the finale. Um, so that, and then we'll just, if we got to take the whole day, if I got to 
overtime, like whatever it takes. We'll just make it, we'll make it happen next week. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, as crazy as it feels to say, next week will be the finale of Final Fantathon. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, the day it comes out, that's tomorrow, because this will come out on Thursday. Um, so the finale will be on Friday, Friday the 22nd, 22nd of March, will be the finale of Final Fantathon. We'll have a big celebration. Um, I have some plans for some announcements that day. And um, so, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a, it'll, we'll make it a, a big event. I'll have some surprises for the day and uh, we'll just be together for the finale after these 84 long years. We already did Final Fantasy 16 as a separate Let's Play. Fantathon started before 16 started or before 16 existed. So it's always been one through 15 and then the extra games. So, yes. Next week is the final Final Fantathon. Now, of course, uh, we will continue Let's Plays after this, as I've mentioned many times. We will still be having Friday Let's Plays. They'll still be at the same time. So if you're someone that's enjoyed having these episodes every week, uh, there's something that you know you followed throughout Fantathon, having the episodes every week, watching them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or if you're somebody that's been here every Friday morning for the live streams of Fantathon, do not worry. We will continue to do RPG Let's Plays every Friday morning, and the episodes will continue to come out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's just not going to be Final Fantathon. It's going to be its own Let's Play. Um, and it may not necessarily be a non-Final Fantasy game. We still have some more Final Fantasy games that I would like to do Let's Plays of at some point. Um, I'll tell you right now, the next game that we're doing a let's play for is not a final fantasy shocker <laughs> figured let's take our break from final fantasy um the next game i have planned which i will reveal next week um is not a final fantasy but it is a retro rpg so um but yeah yeah this whole this whole uh schedule will continue uh, the most important thing about Fantathon for me is the fact that we have been together every Friday morning for the past four years. That is more than anything else, the most important thing about Fantathon, that we've created this community that are all together on Friday mornings, and we've created this community on YouTube that watches the episodes every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and has something to watch during those times and has an hour's worth of content to have every uh, day during the week. Um, that is what's most important to me. So I will can be continuing that as, you know, as we did before Fantathon with regular RPG Let's Plays. So do not worry. <laughs> the schedule stays the same. But Fantathon, as it was planned, will end next week. I hope you guys can be here. Um, I would absolutely love to see some of the YouTube fam come over for the finale. I hope all of you guys can be here. I'll be posting, I'll post about the the finale around so everyone knows when it is and what time it is. Um, the actual finale, like the final moment of Fandathon, will be at some point during the day, but I can't tell you when because I don't know how long it's going to take to do the turtle and do whatever else we want to do. We'll probably spend, if the turtle gets killed pretty quickly, then we'll probably spend a couple hours just doing stuff, just experiencing some stuff. We'll do some dungeons maybe or some just open world stuff but um you know it's fair to say it'll probably be in the middle of the day or if the turtle takes all day then later um so yeah crazy crazy to think man but next week the 22nd will be the day um thank you guys so much for being here for fantathon today though and thanks for watching the episodes on youtube um Overall, there were some great moments today. Uh, I think a lot of the the cracks in the armor began to show with this game today as well. Just with the 
the amount that it was rushed and the the shortness of the game in general um unfortunately kind of hits you like a truck at the end but i did like everything going up to it you know they they did a good job with the build up to the end i think there were some flaws with the way they did it uh definitely wasn't perfect but this was that i mean that was definitely when I played the game the first time, I remember saying that the Leviathan section was the best part of the game and that everything else was trash. But honestly, I think that this section was good, too. I mean, was it as good as the Leviathan section? Maybe not. But I'd be willing to say that this was also the second best section of the game was like this ending build up um, and kind of the, the shock of the time. Uh skip and Arden finally really being a villain and kind of giving us at least a little bit to go off of and um us being like split oh there was one other thing I wanted to mention that I forgot I liked how um Gladilo Gladio kind of got his moment with Titan and then Ignis kind of got his moment when he lost his vision and then Prompto kind of got his moment during that it was cool that each character got like their own moment. Prompto's was a bit weird because we got Prompto's moment and then like immediately hit the end of the game. Uh, so it had like no time to really breathe or like it almost felt like Prompto's moment was the end of the game and not really his own moment. Um, but still nice that at least he got a moment and at least like each character got his own little thing. Um, I think they did that well. So and that was probably the thought from the beginning. I wouldn't even be surprised if that prompto section was supposed to be a separate section like halfway through the game and then they were just kind of forced to retool it into the final kind of final dungeon um or the the penultimate dungeon that would not surprise me at all if that was the case it almost feels like that was supposed to be prompto's area and then it turned out they kind of had to retool it into, well, this is also Arden's area because we got to get to the end of the game here. So that's a bit of a shame. And Prompto kind of had to share the spotlight with Arden as well there. Um, couldn't just be Prompto's. So, but at least they tried. At least they tried to have each character have their own little moment and like character development. So got to give them credit for that. But in any case, next week we'll kill the turtle. We'll do anything else we feel like would be fun to do. And then we will finish not only Let's Play Final Fantasy XV, but the entirety of Final Fantathon, our quest to casually Let's Play every mainline Final Fantasy game, plus the bonuses. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you back here for the finale. Peace.